Good morning, Storytime friends. Good to see y'all this morning on this snowy day we have up here in Estes Park. It's a, if we were in school, probably wouldn't be in school today. There's a lot of snow outside. Got me thinking, what do you think all those animals are doing to keep warm? We're nice and warm inside, but you know, our animal friends outside probably have to find a nice little hole in the ground but there are some animals that probably aren't even out yet. They're probably hibernating from, uh, from the winter because it's not safe for them to come out until it gets warm outside. And, you know, not like bunnies. Like, bunnies are kind of around all the time. But what about animals like frogs? Frogs and toads. You don't see too much of them in the winter months, do you? So... Today we're going to learn about frogs and toads. And you might think to yourself, there's probably not, what's the difference between frogs and toads? They look really similar, don't they? Well, they are really similar. They have a few things different about them that make them distinct. Well, this right here, this is a picture of a toad. And toads move by walking or making short, small hops. And they generally like to live where it's dry. Um, they like to squat down and stay still. If you see a toad in the wild, it's probably looking like this. Or just kind of hanging out. <coughs> Toads are uh, kind of look like this. What color would you say this toad is? Brown? Like kind of brown, reddish, orangey? Uh, toads are usually kind of like the earthy, dull colors, like brown and red. They look like that. Another thing toads do is they lay eggs. And they lay their eggs like this in a line. You can see these are little toad eggs. And they are in the water on this leaf. Must be to help keep them safe from floating away. When those eggs hatch, they turn into tadpoles. And these are what toad tadpoles look like. This little, little, little nubbins with a little tail so they can swim around. So once they're done being tadpoles, they grow some legs and they turn into this critter. This is a little baby toad, a toadlet. So it's, he's still got his, his tadpole tail there. So he's not a full grown toad yet, but soon he'll look like this. And this is what a full grown toad looks like. They have, they have hard, kind of rough skin, and they're really fat, and they have short little stubby legs. So if you ever see one of these guys poking around, maybe in your, in your window well, they like to hang out down there. So now let's take a look at what frogs look like. This here is a frog. So frogs, compared to toads, have skinny hind legs. And they're skinny and long so that they can jump. Frogs like to jump far away from if they're in trouble or if they're in some kind of danger. They like to hop, hop away. We can see this frog here. What color is this frog? He's green. It's like a bright green. Must be a tree frog. So frogs compared to toads are much brighter. They have a lot of brighter colors on their skin. So they stand out a little bit more. And you think frogs lay eggs like toads do? They do, but they don't lay them in a, in a line like toads do. They lay them in little stacks like this. So if you see a stack of eggs in the pond that look like this, you can recognize them. That's a frog's family. And when those eggs hatch, they look just like toads, kind of. They look like little tadpoles with a, with a little tail. So not much difference there. And here's a froglet with his tail. You can see that the... The frog's tail is like a little smaller than the toad's tail. 
Probably because they don't need it as much because they can they have their long legs to help them get by. <clears throat> and here's a grown-up frog. So you can see how his skin is a lot less bumpy than the toads, huh? It's like smooth and slimy and moist. And frogs, unlike toads, they mostly like to live in water. So you probably won't find a frog in your window well like you would a toad. But, uh, you know, frogs and toads, they just kind of, it seems like the one kind of favors the land and one kind of favors the water. But they can both live on both. That makes them a special type of animal. Do you guys know what that word is? That makes them amphibians. Amphibians can live on water and land at the same time, or vice versa. They can make their choice. So they adapt to living on the land or the water. But <clears throat> let's take a look at our first book here. We got a fun pop-up book here called The Wide-Mouthed Frog by Keith Faulkner. This is a really cool book. Ooh. I'm a wide-mouthed frog and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog, shooting out his long, sticky tongue. What? But he kind of looks like a toad here, doesn't he? He's really fat, has short, stubby legs. But he says he's a frog, so we'll have to take his word for it. Ooh. As he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. I'm a wide-mouthed frog, and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wriggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy beak. It looks like he's got some worms poking out. I must have met him in the middle of his breakfast. Next, the wide-mouthed frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide-mouthed frog, and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse, wriggling her whiskers. <coughs> Looks like a pretty nice little food there. A little snack. Whoa. The wide-mouthed frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. I'm a wide-mouthed frog and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, alligator? I eat delicious wide-mouthed frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp white teeth. Ooh, you guys remember the alligator from last story time? We had to brush his teeth. Ooh, this guy's got some big sharp teeth too. Whoa! The wide-mouthed frog stopped catching flies and gulped. Then he puckered his lips and made his mouth as small as possible. Oh, you don't see many of them around, do you? He said, and he leapt into the pond with a splash. Ooh, that's a fun splash. So he looks more like a frog here, huh? He's a lot skinnier. He's got his big, long jumping legs. And he's jumping into the water. You think a toad would jump into the water? Probably not, right? Toad would probably jump into some mud or a hole or something. Well, speaking of jumping into the water, I've got some puppet friends here. Let's sing a little song with them. So this here is a log. You guys know what kind of tree this comes from? That's right, the pillow tree. <laughs> it's a soft log. So we got our little log here. And if our log is floating in the water, who do you think is going to be sitting on our log? Oh, we got five green and speckled frogs sitting on this log. Let's see if we can line them all up here. Three. 
What comes after three? Four. Whoa. What comes after four? Five. Whoa. Five green and speckled frogs sat upon a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Rabbit, rabbit. Three green speckled frogs sat upon a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Yum, yum. Two green and speckled frogs sat upon a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One green and speckled frog sat upon a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well, <clears throat> Nobody's jumping in the pool today, huh? It's too cold. The pool's probably frozen over. <laughs> it's icy outside. But uh, let's uh, let's read our next book. I got another book for for you guys today, and it's really cold and gross and nasty outside. But we can pretend inside that it's not. So we can um, let's pretend and use our imaginations that we're frogs. We're jumping in the pool. That's a nice hot day instead of a cold day. So this book right here is called I'm a Frog by Mo Willems. And we can see that this person is clearly not a frog, right? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I'm a frog! Ribbit? Ribbit? Piggy? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Piggy sure is having a lot of fun. What are you doing, Piggy? I'm a frog. You are a frog? Yes. I did not know that. You surprised me, too. I was sure you were a pig. You look like a pig, and your name is Piggy. I was a pig. Now I am a frog. Ribbit! You learn something new every day. When did you become a frog? About five minutes ago. Five minutes ago? Five minutes ago, she was a pig. Now she is a frog. Ribbit. What if I become a frog? Ooh, he doesn't look too happy about that idea. <laughs> Hopping all day. Eating flies. <laughs> doesn't sound too good to a non-frog, does it? Ribbit. Piggy doesn't seem to mind. I do not want to be a frog! It is okay, Gerald. It is pretend. It is the end? No, Gerald. Pretend. I am pretending. 
I don't know if Gerald is, Gerald is familiar with the concept of pretend. What is pretending? Pretending is when you act like something you are not. Wow. And you can just do that? You can just go out and pretend to be something you are not? Sure, everyone pretends. Even grown-up people? All the time. Piggy's pretty smart. You really do learn something new every day. Do you want to try it, Gerald? Do you want to pretend to be a frog? Ribbit. I cannot. Yes, you can. Ribbit. No, I can't. Yes, you can. 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 Yes, you can. No, I can't. Gerald! Why can't you pretend to be a frog? Because I am a cow. Moo! <laughs> well, I thought Gerald was just playing hard to get, but it seems like he gets it after all. What are you going to pretend to be today? I'm going to pretend that I'm uh, sitting on the beach in my swim trunks, <laughs> enjoying a nice warm nap in the sun, because that's not possible today. But, you know, we can pretend that we're going to go on a walk outside with our friends. Little frog. <coughs> And little frog's big brother, big frog. So these guys, you might have seen in our story time in the past, they're pretty fun guys to hang out with. So we're gonna do a little puppet show with them. <coughs> Pretend that we're going for a walk. One day, big frog and little frog Decided to go for a walk together. Oh, don't eat him. <laughs> Come on, little frog, let's go. Oh, okay, big frog. Oh, hold up, wait for me. I, you know, I can't, I can't walk as fast as you. <laughs> big frog was so big he could take big jumps and he covered a lot of ground. But little frog had to take little jumps. So he was going a little bit slow behind big frog. And all of a sudden, they came to a big log in the middle of the forest. Oh, come on, little frog. Let's jump over this log. Piece of cake. Burp. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know if I can make it. This log is really big. Oh, 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 oh. oh I can't hop over. Oh, what's the matter, little frog? You having a problem? Yeah, can you help me out? Can't get over this log. Here, here. Jump over me. Oh, there we go. There you go. See, not so bad. So then they made it over the log and continued their walk through the forest. Ooh, you hear that? Oh, yeah. Sounds like a fly. Bzzz. Mm -hmm. There's lots of flies around here. Why don't you try to catch one, little frog? Uh, uh, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, those flies are flying too high for me. I can't get them. Uh, you know what? Here, I'll help you out. Yep. Here you go. Oh, thanks, big frog. I don't know what I'd do without you around. Come on, let's keep going. We're almost to the pool. Let's go. I want to jump in that pool. So they kept going till they got to the pool. Oh, you know that water looks really cool and nice, Big Frog, but I can see our reflections and, you know, it doesn't feel so good to be small. 
Oh, hey little frog, that's not a big, that's not a big deal. You know, one day you're gonna grow up, but you know, you're also not that small right now. Oh, really? Oh, what do you mean? Well, let's see. Are you bigger than a fly? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Are you bigger than the sky? Mm, no, no, no. Are you bigger than a slice of blueberry pie? Uh, yeah, 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 I am. <gasps> yes, you are so big, so big. Look at you now, you are so big. Are you bigger than a snail? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Are you bigger than a whale? N no, I'm not bigger than a whale. Are you bigger than a feather on a chicken's tail? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you're so big. You are so big. Look at you now. You are so big. Are you bigger than a flea? Um, yeah. Are you bigger than the sea? Mm, no, no, no. Are you bigger than the wings on a bumblebee? Yeah, yeah. See, you are so big, big. Look at you now. You are so big. And you're only going to get bigger, little frog. Oh, you know, that's really good to hear. And I tell them, I got you to keep me company, big frog. Yeah, I'll always help you out with the things you need help with. Well, until that day comes, you can find me where you need me, little frog. Okay. Hey, you know what? Let's jump in the pool. It looks really cool. Yeah, enough talk, enough chit-chat. Splash. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I wish I could jump in the pool. But that's not a thing today. <sighs> you know, Little Frog seemed a little frustrated with being so little. Sometimes, you know, there's things about ourselves that we can't really help. We just kind of have to... We have to... What's the word I'm looking for? We have to admit to ourselves that we can't change the things we can't change. We have to be okay with them. So we've got one more book to read on that thought. This book is called I Don't Want to Be a Frog. Why do you think this guy doesn't want to be a frog? Let's find out. He's reading a book on cats, and he wants to be a cat instead. I want to be a cat. You can't be a cat. Why not? Because you're a frog. Well, I don't like being a frog. It's too wet. Well, you can't be a cat. I want to be a rabbit. You can't be a rabbit. Why not? Look, I can hop. Sure, but where are your long ears? Besides, what's wrong with being a frog? I don't like being a frog. It's too slimy. That may be, but you can't be a rabbit. I want to be a pig. You can't be a pig. Why not? Most of all because you're a frog, but also because you don't have a curly tail or eat garbage. I can eat garbage. Everyone says that until they eat garbage. Sorry, you can't be a pig. <laughs> Does that look like a good meal to eat to you guys? <laughs> a big plate of garbage for dinner. I want to be an owl. Of course you want to be an owl. Being an owl is the greatest thing ever. Boy, would you love being an owl. So can I be an owl then? What do you think the answer is? No, of course not. Why not? You don't have wings. You don't look wise. You can't turn your head all the way around. You are a frog. What's wrong with being a frog anyway? 
Too much bug eating. I see, but still, no being an owl for you. They're eating some bug sandwiches. So it gets you hungry for lunchtime. <laughs> Why so glum? I don't want to be a frog. What do you want to be then? Not a frog. I want to be a cat, or a rabbit, or a pig, or an owl. Something cute and warm. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Ooh, do we recognize who that is talking? By their figure here? I love eating cats. I love eating rabbits and pigs and owls too. And I am pretty hungry. I might just go gobble some up right now. That's terrible. It's who I am. But guess the one thing I never eat. Badgers? No, I eat badgers. Lots of badgers. Frogs? Bingo. Why don't you eat frogs? Because they are too wet and slimy and full of bugs. Oh, so it's good to be a frog. Yep. I guess you can't fight nature. We are what we are. You are a fierce hunter. And you are a wet, slimy, bug-eating, very lucky frog. You should just be happy you're not a fly. What's wrong with being a fly? <laughs> Looks like Little Frog finally caught his fly. So he must have grown up and accepted that he's going to be a big frog one day. Just like you guys. You might not like things about yourself or, you know, things that you wish you could change. But you can't change those things. The sooner you accept them, the sooner you'll be happy. So... Hope you guys learned a little lesson from our frog story time today. And I hope you guys liked hanging out with uh, Big Frog and Little Frog. And I hope you guys do some pretending today on this inside, stuck inside snow day. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks to the Library Friends and Foundation for sponsoring our programs. Um, yeah, we got another story time tomorrow morning with Miss Melanie. And few more story times next week as well so stay tuned for those and hope to see you guys again bye bye